The Pac-Man 1.5 mod just dropped and it's definitely been slept on so we're gonna go ahead and cover it. I'm gonna explain how Boyfriend ended up in the Pac-Man video game universe and also the backstory of each character that appears in the mod. And lucky for us, this mod actually has a great animation that shows how Boyfriend ended up in this situation and why Girlfriend isn't with him. In the animation, we actually see Girlfriend and Boyfriend walking down the street when they see an old abandoned arcade. And of course, since it's Boyfriend and Girlfriend, they decide to break in and they see one of those old school arcade Pac-Man games. Being curious, the two of them walk over to see if they can actually play them but one of the games actually sucks boyfriend in before girlfriend can get over to help him and this is why boyfriend is basically battling alone in his mod now i know in other pac-man mods it's actually daddy dearest that uses magic to trap boyfriend in the pac-man universe but this time it seems to be solely based on the game wanting to capture boyfriend now the first opponent that boyfriend has to face is pac-man and it makes sense that pac-man would actually battle him because as you can see here boyfriend actually looks just like the ghost that pac-man is usually running from or trying to eat and for those of you that don't know pac-man is the main protagonist for the pac-man series and he was created back in the 1980s and even 40 years later he's still considered to be namco's mascot now since we know the date that he was created technically pac-man is 42 years old and for species he actually falls under pac person which really doesn't tell us what he is and another weird fact about pac-man is that he has an insatiable appetite meaning that he can just keep eating and eating and eating and this is why in his original game we see him going around eating those little orbs which i think are called power pellets and of course the other things he eat i think are called power cookies and the other ones are just regular fruits. Now this also explains why in this mod he actually tries to eat boyfriend as well. As you can see in the mod he looks just like the ghost that Pac-Man usually has to fight against so it would make sense that he would try to devour him. And ironically enough this kind of makes Pac-Man one of the more dangerous people that boyfriend has had to face. Now let's talk about the four ghosts in the background here starting out with Clyde. Now the first thing that I find interesting about Clyde is that his name in Japanese actually translates out to slow one. And even though Clyde is one of the four ghosts that is always in the Pac-Man series and chasing Pac-Man he's definitely the one that has the least interest in actually catching him. While the other three ghosts are usually actively chasing Pac-Man, Clyde is usually off doing his own thing and for the most part it's been confirmed that in certain games, once he gets into a certain radius of Pac-Man, he'll literally turn and run to the other side of the map. And something else that I find interesting about Clyde is that he's usually portrayed as the least intelligent out of all the ghosts and also the most submissive. And one thing you'll notice about these ghosts nowadays is that they're all kind of portrayed as being allies to Pac-Man, while in the beginning they were definitely all antagonists. The next ghost we're going to talk about is going to be Inky and he's interesting because he's usually portrayed as being very goofy and kind of dumb and he has the quirk where he doesn't really want to pursue Pac-Man unless he has another ghost next to him. So basically he's not about the ones. He only wants Pac-Man as he can jump him. But when you look at the meaning of his name in Japanese, it translates out to blue and the second translation is assistance. And it makes sense when you think that he doesn't actually want to go after Pac-Man unless he has somebody there to help him. The next character on our list is Pinky and Pinky's interesting because she's the only female ghost and she has this little vanity thing about her where she always wants to look cute and at first I thought they just did it because she was a girl but later on it was revealed that Pinky actually has a crush on Pac-Man. <laughs> And this is actually why she always wants to look pretty, even though Pac-Man never actually reciprocates because he's of course in love with Miss Pac-Man. Something else that I find interesting about her is that unlike the two before her, she's actually very aggressive and will actively go after Pac-Man. And I don't know if she has such aggression because he's rejected her or if she's just like that. But for one reason or another, she is definitely braver than her other two companions. And that leaves us with the last ghost who is the only one that's more aggressive than Pinky and that is Blinky and he's basically known to be the leader of the ghost here and he's also like a true enemy to Pac-Man. And unlike his other counterparts he is hyper aggressive and he's very hard to get away from once he has a beat on you. His name in Japanese translates out to red and I think this may be a play on words with the fact that he's very short tempered and also the most aggressive out of all the ghosts. And even though most of the old school fans will still consider this guy to be the main antagonist of the Pac-Man series just like the other ghosts in the more modern times he has been seen as more of an ally to Pac-Man instead of an antagonist. The next character we're going to talk about is actually from the free play and this is going to be Crackman and Roommates and Crackman is actually exactly what it sounds like. It's a parody version of Pac-Man from 2002 that was created by a creator named Hokar. And in the original video, Pac-Man is basically high on a certain drug. I'm pretty sure you can figure out what it is based on his name. And the part where the video starts to get even more weird is that he has these two roommates that he's trying to offer drugs to. And because these guys aren't complete idiots, they obviously decline to do these hardcore drugs. And that's when Pac-Man basically gets mad and starts to call them a bunch of names. And then he proceeds to do the drugs by himself. 
and then the animation ends with him doing this weird little dance by himself and even if you haven't actually seen this animation you're probably familiar with this dance in some way or form The next character is called Curse Pac-Man and from my knowledge he's based on this realistic scary version of Pac-Man that had realistic eyes and super sharp teeth. This is one of the best images I could actually find of a Curse Pac-Man and this character may have had some relation to the old Curse Pac-Man ROM hack but that's just my theory. Next we have Nerd Pac-Man which is basically still Pac-Man but after he eats the brain berry. If any of you actually watch Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures you may have watched the episode where you actually get to see him make this transformation. Uh, I know what to do. So uh, it's time for me to start doing those things. Now the other characters in the mod don't really have a whole lot of information about them or at least not that I could see but if I find more information I may make a part two just to update but with that being said if you enjoyed this video make sure to check out this video on the screen here subscribe to date to become a member of the horse force and we'll see you tomorrow with another video peace peace